Hey guys, how's it going? Um, it's Tash here, this is my first YouTube video ever, so this is a whole new thing for me. Um, but I'm excited to be here. Um, I guess I should start by saying, why am I here? What's, what's happening here? <laughs> so, f for myself I guess I'd, I'd like to share about what it is to be keto what that means, the science of it, some recipes. Um, I've been keto in this way of eating, whoa, for about um, four years? Yeah, it's 2019 now and I started in 2016. Um, and basically what happened there is I got diagnosed with epilepsy um, and my neurologist then prescribed me this medication um, which when I went away and researched it I I was quite disheartened I think and very shocked at the potential side effects that this could produce it could in increase the frequency of um, the seizures and the fatality and considering I was only getting one or two seizures a year for myself that didn't it wasn't really a viable option so I went away and did my own research and from what I found is um, back in the 1920s they uh, there were children that had epilepsy and one way that they found they responded really well when they weren't responding well to medication one thing that did work with them is when their carbohydrate level was kept below 20 grams a day um, and that was really successful and this was something that caught my eye and from there I researched further and I love my research, I love learning um, and the more I looked into it the more I realised this is something that it, it should be shouted out from the rooftops I think so I thought okay well sod it I'll just I'll give it a go um, so I took, I took that risk and I went back to my neurologist and said thanks but no thanks I'm not up for taking medication twice a day for the rest of my life when if I were to forget one pill then it could make the situation a whole lot worse you know and um, at the time I was working as a restaurant supervisor and again one of the side effects was just like slowness loss of coordination and just cognitive mm, slowness and it was a very busy restaurant and I needed I needed all of, <laughs> I needed to be thinking well and be able to problem solve like on the spot and just have hand eye coordination obviously <laughs> so so yeah from there I started um, and that first week obviously was quite a challenge because your body is, has to relearn essentially um, a different metabolic way of being but after that first week I was just I was cruising basically I realized that actually this is incredible um, and I stuck with it I was kind of doing a bit of intermittent fasting too um, and from what I noticed was a great amount of weight loss I've, I've lost um, I was 12 stone, I'm about 9 stone now, so I've lost about 3 stone on it in the space of, well that was only a year or two I lost that weight. Um, so yeah, my, my epilepsy, I haven't had a seizure since 2006, before, since I started the diet basically. So epilepsy, it's been a complete winner and if only for that is why I'm sticking with it, if it's just one reason, but obviously I've lost so much weight. Um, Physically, mentally, I feel a lot better. My sleep is a lot better. Um, cognitively as well, something interesting really happens. Your, the fog just clears and you have this cognitive improvement. Well, at least for me, I did. Um, I, I kind of have it akin to, you know, an internet browser and you can have so many tabs open at once so this is on 
on a carb diet, I found I was opening all these tabs, you know, oh, I'll go off, do this, do that, but I wasn't really focused. I, I couldn't hold my focus to one task and it, it would flag, it would wane. But on keto, it's like all that fog's lifted and I'm able to just focus properly and start a task and see it all the way through to the finish, which I know it just sounds silly, it just sounds so small, but um, it has been quite powerful. And in terms of listening, my job um, now involves in, in interpreting in sign language. So the, the amount of focus I have to put in when I'm taking in what people are signing to me and like processing that, using my memory and then translating that, Again, it's something with this way of eating has just been dramatically improved. I can I can see that. I can sense it. Um, just energy levels in general. Um, on a carb diet, I find it's a, just a bit of a roller coaster. You know, you wake up and you're sluggish until you get your coffee or whatever. Then it kind of peaks, and then. I, but then I found after about midday, I'd plummet again, and it was just this constant up, down, up, down, crash, start, crash, start. But with keto, it's like I wake up, I'm awake, and then my energy level is consistent right the way through the day. It's just one level until I go to sleep. And often if I, if I don't release that energy, um, I don't sleep as well. Because I, I, I think, to be honest, you don't need as much sleep on keto anyway, because you just, because your body's running more efficiently. Um, another thing that I found is my... I used to have depression that used to sneak up on me quite a bit and just be quite just be there <laughs> um, and now that's unheard of for me if I fall off the wagon and I'll have some chips or something like if yeah if I slip up on this diet then I can feel it again it will creep up and I won't be able to get up in the morning um, I call them carb downs have my carb down and mentally I get fatigued mentally physically I just get fatigued um, so anyway yeah all of these benefits that have come from it now for me it's just a way of eating it's not even a, a diet it's it's a lifestyle for me so yeah what can I offer you guys I think for me having been doing this for quite a while I've, I feel like I've learned quite a bit just from my own personal experiences and from from researching, from following others, and from chatting to other people that are doing it as well. Um, and I'd like to share that with other people. I'd like to get the word out, really. Um, and I've been reading quite into the science, and for myself, I guess cooking as well is a big part of my life, and it always has been. But going keto, it forces you to look at how you cook your meals. You know, if you were using chips as a staple or rice as a staple what can you do instead and what I've learned is any meal that has got carbs in like whether it's pizza or pasta it's not a case of you don't have to omit them just change up the ingredients a bit you can make a great keto pizza out of cheese and almond flour you know you can make a great um, noodle or spaghetti by making um, or just cutting up zucchini courgette um, or you can buy like bare naked noodles and they're, they're just made of shiriake root or shiitake or something like that yeah and that's just zero carb so really there's just so many different alternatives and there's so much flexibility and that's what I found actually it doesn't have to be for me it hasn't been boring and I'm quite a foodie and I like my flavors um, and I've yet to get bored of this way of eating to be honest there's just so much to offer um and because i tend to intermittent fast as well i know quite a bit about intermittent fasting i'll give you some tips on that and omad one meal a day um and how to avoid keto flu your electrolytes and the science what happens there in terms of your body um so yeah happy to meet everyone please um Leave any comments you like in the comment section, like, subscribe, um, anything you feel you want me to start chatting about, we can have a discussion about that, that's great, just leave it in the comments, that's cool. Okay everyone, good to meet you, take care, bye bye.